Hey guys, guess who's filming way too late and still hasn't shaved? If you answered this guy to either of those questions, you'd be correct. However, you don't win anything because this show doesn't have a budget. Thanks for playing, though. So today, didn't do much. I was awake very early, still nothing. Did find a huge beehive in my house, that wasn't too much fun. But I'd prefer not to dwell on bugs with tiny knives stuck in them. So let's move on to more interesting things. In yesterday's video, I said that I'd recount the super fun parts of the hospital yesterday. And seeing as I'm a man of my word, <coughs> most of the time, we're gonna do just that. So since the procedure was pretty routine, anything beforehand wasn't really interesting, and anything afterwards was pretty meh. But during the procedure, there was a fun little thing I like to call anesthesia. Oh, that anesthesia. And before I talk about the anesthesia itself, it's important to know how it was administered. You see, the thing about the anesthesiologist is he was a sexy, sexy foreigner man, much like the one you see on the screen right now. And he had an equally sexy accent with a sound all of its own. Kind of like this. So anyway, I'm about to go under and I put this oxygen mask on. By the way, I don't have an oxygen mask on hand, so I'm just gonna use my hand as a prop. So anyway, I've got this oxygen mask on, and the anesthesiologist turns to me and says, Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah, I guess. So he turns the gas on, and this is what threw me. It is on. I put some flamingo flavor in there for you. Now, the gas did have an odd taste, but I wouldn't describe the taste as flamingo, and I'm not entirely sure what he meant by that, but I do have a feeling him saying that had to do with what happened next. So I'm sitting there with the flamingo flavored gas going into my lungs, and I'm thinking, ah, this'll never work. It was around that time that the room started spinning, and my last words were, oh god, this is awesome. And then I passed out. Now, after I passed out is when it got really interesting. I saw flamingos everywhere. When I say this, all I remember is just all over a room, just thousands of flamingos. It was awesome. And I think it might have had something to do with the flavor. Yeah, probably. Then I kind of drifted out, and as I was waking up from the procedure, I just remember thinking, oh, it was a dream, I'm gonna have to do this all again. But it wasn't a dream. So here I am now, once again, craving the flavor of flamingo. See you tomorrow, guys. Kind of like...